Uh, I love you, and thanks for putting up with all this stuff. And my entire family and friends I'm seeing from all over the state. I've, uh, I know the game, I've played the game, I've been played by the game, I've won the game, and I've lost the game. And tonight we lost, fair and square. That's part of what our great democracy is all about. And um, who would have imagined in 1978, when I was uh, 21 years old, I moved four blocks from here to Villa Hermosa Apartments, making $900 a month for Duke Energy Company. Who would have imagined in 2022, I'd be here at the Selwyn Pub, having been a Republican city council member, a Republican mayor for 14 years where we transformed a great American city and where I was governor of the greatest state, the United States of America, um, where we helped save this state. I would have never imagined this, and neither would have my parents. Um, and I would have never imagined um, that I would have had the opportunity to run for the U.S. Senate. And who would have known part of the game is politics is a tough sport, a very, very tough sport. And I knew I was in for a tough sport about a year ago this week when the former president of the United States with me in the audience turned to the whole audience and said, I don't represent his values. And I remember looking at several of my great workers, including Hannah Hemi, who I, I can't say enough about. And I turned to her, I went, damn, this is a tough sport when the president of the United States says I don't represent his values. Well, he may be right in that regard regarding values. I do represent his policies, but probably not his values because I got my values in Jamestown, North Carolina. Uh, but it's a tough sport. I knew I was in trouble last night when I saw a TV ad saying that I'd raise gas taxes from the Club for Growth. And I went, what in the hell is that all about? I never raise gas taxes, but in politics, you can say and do anything to get elected. And I knew when I saw the Citizens uh, or Club for Growth and my worthwhile opponent, Congressman Bud, say that I'm a Republican in name only, I went, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We, we did a lot for the state and for the city, implementing good conservative measures that I think made a difference, not just for the next election, but for future generations. And there are things that I'll be proud of for the rest of my life because of the work all of you did together. Now, as we uh, talk about this game, I think all of us have to go through an evaluation. First of all, I want to congratulate Congressman Ted Budd. I also want to congratulate Sherry uh, Beasley. They had the courage to run. They ran a very unique race. I still don't understand the no debate stuff, but hopefully we'll see a debate between the two of them. Many debates because our country deserves it. Um, but I congratulate everyone who ran, who ran today, whether it be for city council or Congress or Senate, everyone who ran, Mark Walker and um, Marjorie became good friends of mine. We enjoy debating each other and I always respect our friendship. But right now we've got to do an evaluation of our party. And I want to let you know that you have leverage in this race coming up. You have leverage because our party's got to recognize you as being common sense conservatives like I am. You are a common sense conservative and I think in this Senate election, you've got to demand common sense conservatism, maturity, and professionalism that we should demand of a U.S. Senator because the U.S. Senate is a place for wisdom and courage and problem solving now more than ever as our economy is being destroyed by the terrible policies of our current president and vice president. And now more than ever, we do need to, need to unite but we also need to unite to ensure that the people running understand you because you have leverage in this race. And you in this audience, those who supported me, can determine the future of the U.S. Senate and this country. And I'm gonna help you participate in that. So to all of you, especially to my family, to my good friends and supporters, 
to the owners of the Selwood Pub, Coach and Doc, I love you. We've got great pizza here. Life is a full circle. I started three blocks from here in public service running for the city council, and I end here in public service with my friends and colleagues that will be my friends and colleagues forever. I love you, God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you all very much.